Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey. This is Right Color. And this is Nancy Jean, and welcome to my garden. So, this is the daily duo where we do a dual reading. Mm-hmm. This is for the full moon, December 19th, full moon Gemini. Mm-hmm. So, it's on the uh, Gemini Sagittarius axis. Um, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. So, um, I throw five cards, uh, tarot cards, and Nancy throws five crystals on the garden. Mm -hmm. And we have like a dual reading. Yes, it's a dual Um, as in D-U-A-L, not (laughs) D-U-E-L. As in what? What Not like D-U-E-L, D-U-A-L. It's a dual reading. Oh, dual. That's (laughs) dual. That's dual. (laughs) Like 10 paces and shoot. <laughs> I, you know, I, my, so I practice Spanish with my friend and I, I teach him a lot of pronunciation. So I have him making these sounds that are so, I'm like, I, I make him exaggerate things and he'll really mm-hmm. understand them. And I'm like, you know, ought to do, do all, do all. Yeah, whatever. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so find me for that. the daily duos, we put an O on the end and we will eliminate that problem. And I, as if I'm going to remember that. Um, I can't remember the first thing. Mm. <laughs> so, um, so additionally, Nancy and I both offer private readings and we both author, offer things in the physical world. So I'm a textile designer. I make uh, scarves and t-shirts, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, all available below. And Nancy Jean, who channeled this, this medium of the uh, garden, will send you a, a, a scarf which is right and the stones and And the stones and the instructions so um as well as grids Mm -hmm. uh so if you're interested in any of those things all the information is below very simple and i think we should start with the reading no oh yes we should and um the reason we kind of came up with this sort of more holistic point of view for the collective is because the garden is doesn't like duality of the 3D, it likes reading in four and 5D. So we're gonna ask about the situation for the collective during the full moon. We'll do the full moon, we'll make it its day, okay? Arr, arr, what full moon? What arr, 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 arr. <laughs> That's what does it do to the birds outside your window there? <laughs> no, those four birds have all disappeared now. Oh, okay. So we're gonna, I'm gonna th- cast or throw the stones and He's going to do whatever it is to do with the cards over there. <laughs> I shuffled, so now I'm just placing them down. I know. Oh, cool. Hmm. Wow. Well, I'm getting like a real transformation here. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so to begin, the body, I have the Ten of Swords. So something is good and over. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Can't get much more over than that picture. And, you know, people get all freaked out by some of the cards that look very dark in their iconography. But actually, this is really, I mean, it's a really pretty card, right? The colors mm-hmm. are really lovely. I love the, it's vertical and horizontal simultaneously. And if you look really closely, there's no blood. No, that's a nice one. He did a nice drawing on that one. So this is really the end of a way of thinking. And because this end of a way of thinking, it, you know, a new dawn rises. Right. Right? Mm-hmm. As simple as that. It's almost, it's not even like, I don't even know so much if it's of a transformation as like a new chapter. You know, it's still the same book. It's right. just a new chapter. It's like, okay, well, we dealt with that. You know, this is the situation with these two characters. And now we're going to deal with this other character sort of thing. Uh, that was sort of my metaphor. Okay. And then in terms of the mind, <clears throat> take hold of what is yours, what works, what uh, is useful. So it's almost like, it's almost, I feel like, uh, you know, you see how I'm going? It's almost like this miserly in a way. It's like, this is mine and I'm not letting go of it kind of thing. So, you know, maybe this is dead, but there's still something that it's like, "Mm, that's mine. 
and I'm going to use that and mm -hmm. use it. In terms of spirit, it's like there, here, here we are, yet mm -hmm. another healing, yet another a journey into wholeness, yet another, mm -hmm. but the beginning of it. The right, beginning. the beginning of the spirit, right? Right. And then for grounding, so what I'm actually getting today from this card is that there's a grounding in the past. There's a grounding, there's something from the past that was nourishing that you can actually ground yourself in. This might be why uh, you're taking what you need. So I, I feel like there's a grounding somehow in the past. There's something that, like a, mem a memory or maybe a person or something like that, or, or a situation that was really very um, profound actually and nurturing that you can actually utilize that you can that's what i'm getting today mm -hmm. yes. and then for clarity i get stick to your guns so both of these are sort of like this energy of confidence and like don't doubt yourself why are you doubting yourself mm -hmm. don't doubt yourself you know yeah that's what i'm like like now that i said it sometimes it takes me a while to get to the reading <laughs> and it's kind of like don't doubt yourself you know it's like it's like the smartest kid in school going up to the teacher at the end of class saying oh and and the, and the teacher saying you're the smartest kid in the class mm -hmm. <laughs> don't doubt yourself mm -hmm. oh oh it's a little bit like that that's yeah. what i'm talking about okay okay well what we've got in the garden is um, we're going to start with the best thing here it's clarity in the crown chakra space this tile is called crown chakra and what when i saw the vision of what the crown chakra looks like in in my visionary world it's this grand open space you go up this hill it's absolutely magnificent and there's all kinds of sunlight and air and just a complete flow of energy and when your stone falls here, everything will become clear. The air, the movement forward, taking you out of where you've been is all going to come towards you. But this is kind of where you are right now. Your values and, or your, your grounding stone is in air, which makes sense since you're going to an airy place. But it says material actions are the path to move forward, which means you have to take the steps. It's not gonna just show up on your doorstep. You have to let go of things. You have to go pick up the things you need. You have to deal with that. And this is your body. And your body says, ground your thoughts, ground how your mind feels. So then we go over to where is your mind? Your mind is cleverly attached to your throat chakra. And your mind is saying, your mind opens your heart opens the expression of your throat. So what, what your heart feels and gives to your mind is what's going to come through. And that touches into, because when I cross the lines, I read them that way, that touches into path forward. And for the mind, the path forward says, mind is open, so you need to watch out for the signs. So if you speak what you see going on around you and are open to it, you can move forward. And where's your spirit in all this? Because now we've had the physicality, we've had what the logical brain part sort of says. Where your spirit is, it's also in the path forward. And it says you need to balance your energy to move ahead and that your energy has not begun to be finished moving where it needs to go. It's grounded in the earth and it is the spirit is transforming right now. It's not yet finished. So... A lot of what you're seeing there where you have like the cup, the page of cups sending mm -hmm. out the message. Okay. Yeah. He's not a knight. He's not a queen. He's not a king, but you're very clearly getting signs of where you ought to go. And what it's saying is all of these omens and signs and synchronicities that you're feeling right now are leading you to a really wonderful place. Mm. So it's a good day. Yeah. That's interesting because, you know, sometimes this can be seen uh, at times as like the past life card. Right. Right. So, you know, it could be like this, maybe that's the thing that you're taking with you, right? Mm -hmm. Like that memory, that understanding, it's like, oh, I've been on this planet before. I've been loving before. Mm -hmm. I've been um, 
successful. I've been clear. I've been da, da, da before. Right. And, you know, it's almost as if you're, you have a remembrance on a certain level of that. Because this is such an odd little card. It's like, is that a dwarf? That's his little sister. <laughs> you're just saying. And it's like, it, it's very medieval. None of the other ones are medieval. This is like medieval 101. Yeah. Thatched roof and everything. Well, they're dressed medieval. I mean, right. what right. kid in the 1950s did you see that was wearing a hoodie? A, a hoodie? It's a schmata. Never mind a hoodie. It's, it's, it's a babushka. Oh, okay. A babushka, I know. Yeah. I mean, look. Okay. You want me to go there? Yeah. This is Jeffrey and the Six of Coins. <laughs> It's cold outside. It's very cold. <clears throat> but remember, I, I would have worn fur, but it's so PC. Okay. Well, what I would have, what I would say is, remember that when we're under moonlight, when we're under a full moon, right? The moon is reflecting the sun's light, so we're right. not getting the complete enlightenment. We're right. getting the kind of a shadowy kind of enlightenment. Right. What these stones tell me is. It, at this time, even though your spirit isn't completely in line with it yet, you have the power to speak your own truth. Mm -hmm. And it's and, and you're headed in a great direction. You're headed in a great direction. Yeah, and you know, set your intention with the moon. That's right. That's this is the day to do it. Set your attention with the moon. You know, go out into the moonlight. I, you know, I, if it's not too cold or if it's not cloudy or whatever, you know, I, I try. I don't do it every month because certain months it's raining or whatever. Right. But um, I really do. And even though I live in the middle of Manhattan, you know, at least we, 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 we can't see a star. I don't know what's Venus and what's Jupiter or whatever, mm -hmm. but we can see the moon. <laughs> yeah, the moon's bright enough. Yes. Well, the so other go part out and of, bask in it. Oh, and, and the other thing I get, the, the other thing mm -hmm. I get since I work with stones is, putting your stones out in the moonlight to clean them, to cleanse them. It's much better than ever sticking them in water because unless you really understand your stones, you don't know some stones will melt almost when they get put in water. But putting them out in the moonlight is okay. Put them on, on a window ledge that gets moonlight is great. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're going to put them out in the moonlight, make sure they're going to be there when you come back. It's like, right. you know, don't plant them in your backyard. <laughs> Right. If you live on the first floor of an apartment building in New York, don't put them on your ledge. No, probably. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to. I wouldn't put them out in my yard in Dallas. Are you kidding? No, I know. But I'm saying, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying. I know. Like I could put them out on my ledge because I live on the fifth floor in the back. So, yeah. But then know, if but, they fall, then they're gone. Because they'll be so well, shattered they, by the time they hit. The yeah. But, you know, we don't really. It, it wouldn't. Whatever. OK. Anyway. However you do with your crystals and the full moon, we hope you have a wonderful full moon. Write up a good list of intentions. Remember, remember it's the last full moon before we move into a, to a totally new year. Moving mm -hmm. out of a five year into a six year, that's another thing we discuss at times. And uh, you got anything else you need to say or do we need to pull a card or say um, No, I think that, okay, so what I'm getting is thank your past. Mm -hmm. Thank your past for the gift that it's offering you. Okay. All right. Say goodbye. Bye. Blessings.